on this computer. Now we're recording just in case we have had a couple of mistakes. Sometimes that I'm owing a couple of textings to a few so people. How is that breaking up for you the rest of you as well? Yeah, I am breaking up. But um, that's because of we have to have the door shut because of uh, the feedback. Yeah. All right. Tasting order today for the whiskey agency tasting. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the Irish 16 years old. The second we're going to do is the Iran 17. Third. Irish 21, fourth, Tobemori 25. Hang on. Fifth, Irish 29. Yeah. Sixth, Little Mill 27. Seventh, Ben Nevis, twenty-three. Sounds like being Irish. <laughs> and eighth, um, Secret Island. Highland, thirty-four. And then we'll finish with the cognac. And we finish with the cognac. That's a dessert before going home. I hope everyone's okay with that. Everyone got the uh, lineup. Missed four and five. I'll write them down and put them in the chat now, um, so we know. But we'll uh, we'll make it easy as we go along. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll write it down in the chat so it's there for everyone as well. But the first one, and we've all got our welcome beer, so hopefully you've cracked that open. Everyone's got a welcome beer, yeah. Nine drams tonight. So as I guess we we try the first as we one. always say this, um, you know, we we let's let's kick off because nine drams. Otherwise, they're going to be here until tomorrow. <laughs> Which is not bad, but we might run out of whiskey before that. Um, all right, Irish, 16 years old. Let's go a little bit slower. We're all trying to sort them all together more than one. If anyone has any questions, just ask them on the on the on the chat, right? So um, Irish, 16 years old. Um, this is Coolies Distillery. I'm gonna take some notes, but I don't have a pen. It's okay. I can take mental notes. Very fruity. Yeah. Green apple. Oh, fuck this. No, near ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good on you, Shannon. <laughs> Maybe we, we, we mute Shannon there. Shades of being in chapel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not in chapel. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, this is cracking. I remember it's it's quite oaky, I guess, for an Irish yeah. whiskey. You know, you, you probably tend to expect a fair bit of fruit, but this being a little bit younger than the a lot of the indie releases from Irish stuff, it's, it's interesting. It's that oakiness blows off. You get so much nice fruit. It's not like a young Ben Nevis. Mm. That sort of uh, fruity banana, but also kind of malty. When I was noticing this earlier in the week, when the bottle was just open, it was even like a bit more caramelly and toffee. But now it seems like it's just getting more fruity and more fruity. Yeah. This this whiskey took a long time to open. We opened them two weeks, three weeks ago. No, this tasting is finished. Before Christmas, yeah, yeah. This tasting, these bottles have been decanted before Christmas, so everything here got quite a lot of um, um, air already. Um, so um, what we got today, it's a um, good example of a young Irish whiskey. I think mm, quite fruity, a little bit bitey, uh, quite a bit of spice. Best tasting of anything I've tried. Well, we are we are trying to get there, Justin. Come on. <laughs> very very nice whiskey. Um, did you taste this, Justin, already, or not? What do you reckon? 
No, not tasting. I just gotta unmute. No, I gotta unmute myself. I'll try it with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, true. <laughs> Good memory. You have a bottle of this one. Yeah. This is the only, we're not gonna be, we, we go to an agreement, we're not gonna be selling bottles tonight. Um, we, we're gonna be going more, most of these bottles to the bars. So there's not much left, you know. We, so the only whiskey we have in our stock, which is online, is actually this, the 16 year old Irish. Um, we, with this one, we got a dozen bottles, so, but there's not a dozen left anymore. Um, there maybe there's half a dozen left or something like that, maybe less than that. Yeah. Um, Okay, so um, well, we let this rest because you know these whiskeys take a long time, and I don't want to get everyone on this and 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 you know and drinking every, drinking the whole the whole lot. Woo! There we go. Yeah, it took me tasting the whole first whiskey, but there's the order in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's move to the second whiskey. Yeah. So we let yep. this and revisit. Yeah. I hope everyone has eight glasses if you can. No need to have nine because the. The cognac, we just pour it on top of something else. Cognac just goes straight in yeah. from your little sample. Hmm. So the Aran. It's so weird listening to you from outside. It's like an echo. Um, it's like we're doing tasting the Grand Canyon or something. Yeah. So Aran Distillery, Aran is an island, as everyone knows, we don't need to, um, 185 bottles of this Aran. Um, Smallish cask. Yeah, and again, Aran is one of those distilleries that you don't normally see a lot of distillery uh, independently bottled Aran. There's a lot of official bottlings for private owners, but not distilled, you know, not, not really um, oh, sorry, I, I forgot to take a, I take the waiting room out. A few more in the waiting room. We'll let them come in now. We let them all. Um, sorry for the people that uh, arrived late. We, uh, you know, the craziness of, of getting everything ready. Yeah. Um, we forgot about the uh, waiting room. It's like, the, it's like the cricket, you can't get up during an OD, you can't get up during a dram. You have to wait till the next one before you can come in from the waiting room. <laughs> and everyone's in now. It's yeah. really good. Yeah. So, um, really multi. I'm gonna go and copy this. No. Very multi, but also orangey. It smells like uh, orange rind. Yeah, spot on. Orange rind. Citrus is more like um, or, or bergamot. Well, really nice, quite spirity though. Even it's not that high in alcohol. This one. Mm. Mm. What's everyone thinking? Can someone please catch me up? Um, Brian, uh, we're gonna let me just cut and paste this. So we, we just poured the uh, Irish 16 year old first, Brian, and now we've, uh, we're have we onto the Iran as a second one. You haven't missed out on much. And uh, the tasting what is in the chat there, Jose, will we post Yeah, it? no, we can't. I can't copy and paste. I can probably arrange that. Yeah. So yeah, so, this is this is awesome. I think uh, a little bit of white chocolatey for me as well. Uh, yeah. Should we ask uh, uh, what, what's going on on the other side? Let's see. We got the man John Jankowski there. Yeah, we're giving it, waiting at. Let's see if um, he's got to unmute us. Yeah. Can you unmute us or number three? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can. Unmute. He's he's muted us. <laughs> <laughs> you hear loud and clear, guys. Yeah, can you hear us loud and clear? All yeah. right. Ah, awesome. Beautiful. Because apparently on the screen it's saying that we're still muted. Yeah. That's all right. All good. That's all sorted. Um, it, it is signature Aaron uh, whiskey, that's for sure. But there's the nose on it is is stunning. Like there's heaps of red apple, heaps of um. Actually, I, I find that I get lipstick on this. Um, yeah. like it's it's got that it's. from a different angle but um yeah gorgeous stuff really gorgeous stuff 
I I must agree. It's uh, actually very very nice. Very it's a little bit salty. It's not peated, but it's a little bit salty. There is a savory note on the back end of it. Definitely pick up some savory note mm. on the back end. Um, very malty and a little bit um, of that orange tang. Um, Maybe like, more like barley at the end. Mm. Yeah. Um, let's see, you got a review. There we go. Oh, I am listening there. There's also some mint. Yeah. Up as well. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, let's go back to um, Irish. Irish. Cool. Is. It's pure vanilla now. Yeah. Stole down the fruit a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It's pure vanilla. Mm. Is that the run? It's brought down the fruit. No, it's there. No, it's not there. And then I go back to it. I still get in there. I still get in there. Coolies is uh, it's, it's very good. Now we're gonna we're gonna have three examples of coolies, mm -hmm. which is great at three different ages. So that's gonna be really, really, really good. Um, let's move on to the next coolies and see how we go while we let these two breathe. So we're going for the Irish single malt, 21 year old. 21 year old Irish. Bottle at um, 51.3, 208 bottles. Sean's saying the first Irish is banana split now. It's a good call. I don't know if got some of those banana anuses. Banana anus. Banana anuses. Is that a. Yes, it is. Is that a word? <laughs> Banana in yeah. uh, 208 bottles matured in a barrel. They are very um, explicit. Yeah, matured in a barrel. Mm. Good to know. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. That's a little bit more... Uh, A little bit more like fruit and turps at the same time. Yeah, yeah. More more waxiness than the younger. It smells like that sort of shoe polish mm. wax. No, the, like the rum. The good kind. Yeah. You know that that polished leathery sort of yeah. that you smell and you can oh. More sort of spicy fruit as well, uh, yeah. or, uh, rather than fresh sort of fruits. Really, any more sort of mixed pine. Let's see. Who, um, Chris Cornell? How are you, mate? Long time no speak. Yeah, it's just kicking up here in Sydney as always, but yeah, leaning towards preference uh, younger Irish. Just the younger one now is just so fruity, whereas maybe the um the second one here is just going to take a little bit more time to open up. Yeah, it's impressive the the, the profile of this distillery, right? It's yeah. um it's just a bomb of fruit. Get in some sort of like nice sort of vanilla ice cream and wafery sort of notes on it as well. Yes, that sort yeah. of uh, honeycomb vanilla ice cream uh, crunch. You know, it's a scrunchy. It's called the the the, the chocolate bar, yeah. Crunch, sort of honeycomb, crunchy, crunchy. Yeah, crunchy. Yeah, the honeycomb, the honeycomb chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Let's, uh, Dom. What do you reckon about this? How are you, mate? I missed you today. All right. You... Yeah, I missed you today, mate. Sorry, the day was buggered up. But uh, I, I'm sort of fully agreeing with what people are saying about this first, the first Irish one. It's just lovely at the moment. I'm really enjoying its nose. That sort of vanilla-y wafer type thing is coming through for me really strongly and just really enjoying it. Heaps of vanilla wafer. Yeah. Cool. Or uh, yeah, wafer. Waffles. That sort of mm, my waffles with ice cream. Awesome. And also enjoying the noise of the Aaron a lot as well. Mm. The Aaron was a bomb of orange. Yeah. 
very interesting how these drums evolve within time. You know, they go uh, very, they go from quite tight and reserved to really, really, really expressive. Mm. Um, that's why I kind of hurry a bit to begin with. So then we have them all oxygenating. You guys are welcome to pour the rest if you have enough glasses in your house so in the order we said and you know just just have them um already poured the second irish now is showing a little bit of uh citrus for me yeah more similar to the iran style you're thinking the um the aaron almost is a little bit cheesy as you go back to it cheesy <laughs> Cheesy like what, Owen? Who's that? Can... Oh, hang on, cheese. hang on. It's yeah, it is <laughs> m more like cheese, but we need a brand of cheese or a top. Oh, <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> are you are really gonna break be it? Be very down. careful. <laughs> like bigger cheese, like um, <laughs> common heritage. <laughs> very... Oh, moldy blue, moldy. Yes, not blue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's like if you go because the um the first Irish is so fruity and vanillary, then you go and smell the Aaron. It's almost blue veiny initially. It's almost blue vein cheese initially. Yeah, yeah. It definitely. It's not a strong nice. like it's not like a like creamy this. blue vein. Uh, creamy blue vein. Creamy blue vein. Yeah. Thanks, John. That's I, th I think actually that's that's you hit it on the nail. That what you mean? And the fruitiness of the twenty one is sensational. It's awesome. Uh, and the first one, so much more fruity and ripe. It's it's more. Let's say from the the Irish sixteen is more like um, white flowers. The and floral, and the second one is more like tropical fruit. The second Irish, sorry. Yeah. That so Irish sixteen for me now is a bit more white flowers and not so fruity. It's more floral, mm -hmm. and then the the Irish twenty one that is more fruity, like tropical fruit. Yeah, it's big brothers coming out to play. Looking forward to see what the uh, twenty nine twenty nine year old the big big brother. So, everyone ready to go to uh, Toby Mori? I certainly am. Let's do it. Tristan, don't drink them all. Remember, you drink them all. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm good. They're, they're changing a lot in the glass. So I'm, I'm going backwards and forwards. And yeah, so you're right. They're almost gone. <laughs> I remember every time you're not tasting, you're half the way through and you already finished them all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you, man? Good? I'm good. So now we're going to go to this 25-year-old Tobe Mori. Make dinner, so I... You haven't had dinner? Uh, I didn't have time. didn't realize it was so early. So I, yeah, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Then enjoy, enjoy the ride. There's five more to go. Um, 282 bottles, bottle of 48.5%. Right, this is a uh, 1995 bottle last year in 2020, and it's a bourbon cask. Hoxed or yeah, Hoxed. Mm. There we go. All right, John, what do you reckon? I really like this one, and trying it earlier and having a nose, straight away it's like lemon sherbet for me. Oh wow, a um, little bit like herby as well which i guess we haven't had with any of them so far like fennels and dill wow this is really herbaceous and yeah. i agree with you fennel dill it's a bit like marine this is even sure. lafroidish i think it's very lafroidish yeah how much if any pd getting coming through yeah i do but yeah. i get a hint of peat on the nose yeah like old school peat Absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is really getting nice. more peat salinity on the palate than really on the nose, Jose. Yeah. And to everyone doing the tasting in store who's got a tasting map, you you um you can see that we've gone one, two, three, 
five, six wrong way around the on the um, tasting mat there. So that's just keep you on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so now that I mention um, this one, and we, we let this sit there and literally become a little bit more uh, um, aromatic, and that that um, that peat develop. Mm. Lafroid is going to be our next tasting, and we we just going to release it here. We're going to next tasting we're doing is a Lafroid tasting on the twenty eight. So we're going to taste. Uh, not starting off the year quietly. Not not starting not 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 starting the year quietly at all. Ooh. And you pass them on. There we go. We're tasting. This is a sixteen year old bottle by the Whiskey Exchange. Nine, uh, this is nineteen ninety nine. 20 year old bottle by the Whiskey Fair, single cask. Um, the Karchus 12 year old, which I believe is second or third release of Karchus. Um, so, one of the old warrant, but really just after they got awarded the warrant. Um, so this one has only one warrant, as you see, just only at the back. They were still using the old label on the first one. So um, we hope for the best on this. We don't know until we open it. 43%, um, which is was quite rare back on the day too. So uh, might give this one a miss, as <laughs> Justin. Um, yeah, this is this is the this is the the time when Lafro just started to pre. It's post 1993, so mid 90s will be this bottling. And oh, another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the one. Another 20 year old Lafro. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's that one. Yeah, not this one. No, no maybe that doesn't seem. We're tasting that one. No, this one. Sorry. Jonah <laughs> passes me bottles like. 18 year old Lafroy, uh, bought by Signatory Vintage from 1990. So, the whole idea we got here we got um, mid 80s distillation, mid 90s distillation, late 90s distillation, early 2000 distillation. Uh, so, try to see a little bit the profile of Lafroy within time. Um, we're a bit poor now, so we can't afford Lafroy from the 70s with this lineup, but you know. We do, we 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 find another seventy slap you know, some sometime. Maybe an old and rare. No, not that rare. And we eat rice for a week <laughs> and tuna. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good series of bottlings uh, to do. I'm very excited for the for the forty three percent and the, all the single casks. So that we have. Okay, going back to the lechag. When's the uh, moon import tasting, Jose? No, the moon import tasting. <laughs> I don't have any. The birds, the birds. <laughs> no, we, we, I don't have any birds. I wish I had birds. But no, um, maybe, maybe we don't know. Okay, back to our tasting. Um, Tobe Mori. This is awesome. Mm. I love this Togmaya. He does smell like old Isla. Wow. Uh, let's get someone. Who do we get? Keenan, what do you reckon? You're a beast whiskey agency fan. Yeah, I am, mate. I, I don't mind this actually. I on, on the menthol almost like a um almost like an oily paint thinner or something like that it was yes. quite interesting but now it's uh it's really sweetened up like i'm getting sort of i don't, I don't even know what that is almost like a chocolatey caramelly sort of smell to it but definitely the heavy salt behind it as well um it's a bit different from your your run of the mill of the for me i agree with you with the painting yeah yeah a bit of that turps paint thinner uh, mixed with like 
it's also got that brininess and that saltiness. So it's like, is that Terpsy like smell? That is that like, salty brine? Yeah. Yes, from like olives, you know. Sensational, you see? Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I guess you'd expect normally Chag to be a little bit more peaty, but this is just so well integrated. And, and you also with Le Chag, you expect to be a little bit more dirty. This is not dirty. No. Le Chag has this like um, kind of charcoal smell of like, um, you know that smell of like a wet bonfire when it just, you just put it off and that smell is like a dirty yeah. smoke. It's, that's how that smell. This is very, very marine. That's very, very good, this liche. The third is cutting really nice. It's almost a little bit more waxy now as well. Going back to the Irish now, the 21-year-old Irish. Really, really waxy. Uh, yeah, more like mango, papaya, El David. And the Iran. The Iran is it's probably died off a little bit yeah, with the other one. Yeah. I don't think they yes, I think the other two whiskies have just we need to kind of reset the palate to let the let the run come back. Because it gets too um it might be overwhelmed by the other two. Hmm. And number one, wow, so pretty. Yeah. That's uh, super fruity. Wow. Like a bag of fresh grapes. I keep going back to the Tobomori. I'm loving the nose. I'm loving the nose. Old style Isla whiskey. And remember the last time we tasted an old Tobermory, we tasted a 22 year old. One of the first tasting with Mario from the Nectar. Mm. Remember that there is the secret Isla, island? That we have up there, the one with the blue label. Yeah, I know the one. Yeah, it was not as good as this one, though. No. I think. Yeah, no, this is this is really really. This is very good. Mm. Wow. Shall we get the the big big brother in the glass? Yeah, let's get the let's get the twenty nine year old Irish. Cool twenty nine year old. Twenty nine year old Irish. Very, very hard to get Irish whiskey at 29 years old. Yeah. Um, there's not many people that have done this. Only um, tilling with his, with his own stock from Coolies. Mm. Um, and I believe this could be one of the other oldest Irish in the market. Only 182 bottles. 48.5% alcohol. What a label. Yeah, the label is really cool. Mm. I'm going to show up there the label. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get, uh, that keeps giving. Yeah. Looks a bit like you, Jose. Yeah. <laughs> he has probably more hair than I do. Um, just taking some notes. <laughs> Get that out of system. <laughs> yeah, first warning. <laughs> this is uh this is awesome. At the start it was quite like dry and a little bit sort of hay grass. Um but now it's getting like fruity and treacle. And I yeah. can just see those like honey melony notes coming through. Oh wow. I just personally noticed. Yeah. There is the same uh, terps smell that I got on number three at the beginning. Huge. It's a bit like terps and oily. Very interesting. Um, it's a bit like... Um, it's a bit like that cheesy smell that John Jankowski was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe. Who else we got in there? Who wants to who wants to contribute with this? Let's see. Um, 
who else wants to? Matty Fowler, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, Jose. How are you going? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good, man. I um I get what Jono means. I think he was saying honeydew melon, like a real like green sort of honeydew melon, but out of the blender's glass, it's absolutely jumping out of the glass. It's vicious. I get what you mean with turpentine. Yeah. But if you be very, very gentle with the sniff, very honeydew melon, like an unripe one. This is um the blender's glass is sensational for these kind of drums. Highlights everything, you know. Um yeah, just be careful with it all. Yes. Very even if ones not, like this. Even if it's not very high in ABV, this is only 48%, 48 and a half. Mm. Very spicy. Mm. Coffee. Comquat on the mouth. Is that yeah. sort of that's comquat? What is that sort of? It's like um it's like a weird kind of citrus. At the start, like a very like acidic, citrusy sort of. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, at the end is what I feel like a tang. Oh yeah. Yeah, like a tang. Yeah, it lingers. Yeah. Ah, the lechak sensational. I'm going back to the lechak. To, to let it, these ones, these ones, um, kind of open up. Mm. Um, the lechak is still very, very vegetal and and that sort of dill, cut grass. It would be interesting now to have a look at the three Irish side by side. Please do that. The the um, sixteen is still the fruitiest of all. Seems like the of floral. Mm -hmm. Then it goes for me to fruity, and then it goes back to um, more kind of what do I say? It's like more, more mature smells. Maybe a little bit is that big chemical terps petroleum. But it's also substantive by a ton of fruit at the back. Mm. On 29? Yeah. Yeah. Great nose. Mm. Absolutely stunning nose. Um, Owen, what does everyone over there think? Around the grounds at Castavinos. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I just missed him. <laughs> oh, it's just going. Ah, sorry. I hear it. I was filling up a, a bottle of a water, bottle of water yeah. and he places it down on the table and he walks and back to the post. Walks back to the post and then I didn't see him leaving. <laughs> sorry, Owen. I got you running. Yep. What does everyone What's think about the Irish? That's my favorite of the three. Yeah. Surprisingly, not over Irish. Correct. Yeah. Dave, Dave, what do you think? Is your favorite? Well, it's my favorite. You know, I don't really like Irish whiskey, but, but this is my favorite of the three, and it's it's the one I would choose if, if I was to choose one of the three. Very, very rich, this one. Very nice. Yeah. What does... Um, who else we got? Alex. We got Alex there. I can see him from here. How are you, mate? Use Alan. Yes, there you good, are. Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. What do you think of it? That's great. It's not very, it's not over oaked, which is, was surprising for how old it is. Yep. We can see your forehead there. I oh, know. You can see my head. <laughs> you, can, you don't need to come in the camera. We can we can watch John Jankowski there. Yeah. <laughs> the primo position. Front and center. That's it. Yeah. Here you go, Randy. Um, very interesting. This one is a lot more rich and B. Mm. Um, the 22 is starting to become a bit more whiskey and less super fruit. The 21. Yeah. And the 16 
heaps of um, florals, florals. Right? and grassiness. It's like now I get a now I get a bit of grass. Maybe it's like hay. Yeah, grass and hay for sure. And it's then it's sort of like they're just growing up. They're getting bigger and bigger and more round. Yep. But oh, they've all got their unique little nose. Yeah, you you got a fantastic unique nose. And these would all be coolies, yeah. These are all yeah. coolies, yeah. All right. They are run. Now what do we see now? I find I find difficulty trying to find something characteristic of the run. Even it was really nice. Yeah. On its own, it's cracking and that orange rind is yeah. maybe now it's like, you know, those orange chocolates, like it's got like a deep sort of like Yeah. Uh, those it's... orange um segments. Yeah, that they are yeah, dipped yeah. in chocolate. Hmm. And the leche I must say is please. Oh, so good. Wow. This is um very, very interesting. We still have four whiskeys or three whiskeys and, and four whiskeys or three whiskeys and, and cognac. one cognac. Yeah. And we already been an hour on the tasting. I don't sleep on the cognac either. That's 49 years old. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next one. Everyone's ready for the Little Mill, 27 years old. Little Mill, dead distillery from the lowlands. Hmm. Um, 1992, bottle at 27 years of age, 52.3, 260 bottles of it. All right. Very interested. This is uh, my first dead distillery of the year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe yeah. yours too. Yeah. I, I, I probably, probably it's, yeah. has it a guess. Yeah. Maybe of everyone. I don't know. Unless maybe not from Dave. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah, not Dave. Not, not Dave. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Very, very interesting. It's like waxy and vegetal, but musky. Smells like smells like new socks. Not not all dirty socks, like new socks. Do you know what what new what new yeah, clothes? Like tennis balls. Yeah, like tennis balls. Like uh, like new clothes. You know when you go and buy new clothes. Not that that happens often, but you know the new clothes smell like shop. That smells like shop and they, they smell nice. You know, that's a good thing. Yeah. I feel like there's a little bit of fruit in it's like that maybe might want to come push through. This is going to be a good one to let's see it. This is very interesting. I want to hear what Brian has to say. There's a mate that we haven't heard on, on, on speaker since last year. Brian, how are you? Do you record you working? No. Uh, sorry, just trying to get off mute. Um, <laughs> No, I think this is amazing. I'm trying to, I, I think I need to clear my palate because I'm still stuck on the um, the Irish, but this little mill, it's, I'm getting a lot of oil, a lot of wax. Yeah, I get the, I get, um, I see think it smells like a, like a new t-shirt that you haven't wear yet. Like with the smell from the Yeah, shirt. something like that. Yeah, new tennis balls. Tennis balls, I like that. Yeah. Tennis balls. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and just to add, if, if you don't have any moon imports with birds on them, we can open the ones with kites on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I rather I open the ones with frogs on it. Maybe. We we this year, you know, every year we go from better to better. So might be the kite, not not after this weekend, I'm not opening the kite. <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah yeah that that um doesn't matter um what everyone else thinks about this whiskey let's uh tristan what do you reckon of the little meal it take it's got like a deep like flat taste it's, it's 
and the nose is um i get dried apricots what, what's a deep flat taste it, i for me when i'm tasting whiskey i get like sounds i don't know what it's about like like the young was the young irish whiskey was like high notes yeah the oldest one was was also similar to this little mill and it had like a deep like where it's on your palate as well like the young irish one it, it really zings on the top of your palate and this one really hits on the low end of your palate if that makes wow. sense so flat not flat like low notes or not, not high notes just like rich notes maybe it's not umami in it. Uma yeah good i got it now i was thinking he was saying it's flat i was like wow <laughs> good sandwich mm. yeah. you got you got Jonah having a sandwich i think this is um the, the, the little is it's, it's outstanding i am smells a bit like lettuce to me yeah i'm going back to the lechag and the lechag does smell like old lafroig for me still has that smell the irish 29 sensational and when i smell the irish do this exercise, smell the Irish and then smell the little meal and you see the little meal smells like cardboard in a good way, right? But it's very, it's like that. Well, a good tasting cardboard. <laughs> a good cardboard, <laughs> you know. Right? <laughs> Fruity sledge I ever had. Yes, true, Justin. I agree with you. It's so fruity, Justin, it doesn't smell like lechea Wow, oh, this is sensational. Just moving around. I need to get um, super light. The little mill is very interesting. I think this mm -hmm. is going to be one of the drums that's going to change the most. It's getting more and more like briny and pickly for me, like fennel. Heaps of fennel. Any seed now. Salami and aniseed. Salami, salami and fennel, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Salami and fennel are two things that go together. Pork and fennel, that's, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Very rich, salty, moorish, oh, really yeah. nice. Wow. So what's the favorite at the moment for you, John? I think this is the Chag. The Chag. Um, and I, I don't I haven't tried a lot of Irish whiskey and these are definitely interesting. And trying them side by side is cracking, but this is the Chag, I think is uh, I like the distillery and this is something quite different from them, I feel. The yes, uh I would say, you know, this this notoriously in the last in the first six whiskey that we tested notoriously three whiskeys that are junior and three whiskeys that are senior you know yeah. you see the the first the first three whiskeys they are very good but they they are they, they have a ceiling of complexity which in the other three whiskeys that we're tasting they 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 are crazy the, uh, what yeah what you is can that? see the, the you can see keep on changing it's what is like you, the little mill or at the moment my favorite is the lechai second the irish third little mill but the little mill Still needs to aerate and, and get get a bit of, out there, right? Yeah. The little bit is it's just weird. It's like a. It smells very strange. It's like I cannot attribute this little bit to anything, like an a, or another kind of distillery. You know when you're you done maybe. I believe seventy percent. Like a, um, a Benrines. Or um, Blair Athol or something like that. What is battery 70%? I don't know. Something is battery 70%. Could be me. Could be you. I, I, I just fear when I hear something that I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going to shut down. On the... Musty apricots now on the nose. Mm. Yeah. I agree with you, Don. Yeah. It keeps changing every time I go to it. Yeah. It's going to be an yeah. interesting one. To, to watch. Should we move to the one of our favorites? 
oh, yeah. favorite distilleries. Mm -hmm. Ben Nevis, 1996, 23-year-old, 264 bottles, mature in a hog safe. 1996 has been a legendary year for Ben Nevis. We all know, we bottled two of them. Um, and we all have tasted many 1996s. Many 1996s, there's been heaps. So see, see when, when very, very interesting, when, um, when we tasted the Ben React 1976, and we all know Ben React 1976s, I believe 1996 Ben Nevis, maybe in 30 years time, will be one of those vintages of Ben Nevis. I will be like, oh yeah, 1996 Ben Nevis is, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're being known. So 280 bottles, mature in a hogshead, 47.6, really low ABV. What is he looking like? Just a bit of ginger at the start, like fresh ginger, but that's kind of like going away pretty quickly and maybe some more sort of stone fruits, apricots, peaches, which I think is kind of like somewhat typical of some of the other 96s that I've tried. Yellow, what's it called? Yellow, ne yellow nectarines or... No, yellow peaches. Then it's yellow peach. Yes, mm -hmm. yellow peach. I agree really with you, fresh. like ginger. Really, mm. really fresh, huh? Maybe more fresh than the Irish. All the drums are really fruity. Yes, mm. Justin, I totally agree. This is different. Nevis is out of this world. Wow, this noise is cracking. Then we go to the Brains Trust in the shop and see if we've got any interesting thoughts. Yes. Sounds Let's, like they're all uh, starting to perk up in there. Uh, our our good friend John Jankowski there leading the team. Um, what do you reckon, John? The Ben Nevis. That's true because they're little. Yeah. I'm getting cheese rind out of the arm now. Oh yeah. Okay. That's the rind. Um, cheese rind. Cheese rind. The Aaron. Oh, this is very. It's actually a well behaved Ben Nevis. Yeah. on the nose it's it like it, there's nothing there's nothing really in your face about it it's just a, like like it's like you'll get like a, a like a small hint of a, a burnt butter popcorn but yeah. it's not like a smack in your face burnt butter popcorn not like that um from Malay, wherever that is oh no that's a brooklady yeah that yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, epic yeah. thing that's just that's just that's that's another <laughs> yeah, piece of work really altogether that <laughs> I heard, a, I heard an interesting comment in there from Mark going back to the Aaron, and I just had a little sniff and I kind of got it. What were you saying? You kind of get a little bit of cheese right now. Cheese, salt, that, cheese. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. You broke up there. Last bit. Yeah. Yeah. This is cheese right now. I like it. Yeah. These drums, as, as, as Justin was saying, they are all super fruity. Yeah? Oh yeah. Back to the Irish, back to the Benevis. The Benevis is incredibly fruity. Even uh, I would say more fruity than the Irish. Yeah. Mm. So, oh man, grab the yeah, Irish and the Benevis, the Irish 29 and the Benevis, and you see the difference in kinds of fruit. Yeah. You're gonna probably have more luck if you do oh, like yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got them down in front of me, like you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. The um the Irish smells a bit more now like confectionery fruit, and the Veneve smells more like real life fruit. Yeah. Such a good call. And, and that Ben Nevis has brought a bit more life to the Irish as well. I think so. I find a lot of the florals going right back to the Irish 16 year old, like kind of all that florality is taken away by the fruit. And I'm getting a bit more sort of almost like carameliness, like those were those originals. All that sort of fruit and floralness is getting a bit dulled down by the, the senior drams but it's still an interesting nose that's changed a bit too. Wow. 
few nose gasms in here for Dom, I reckon. Dom, what do you reckon? Yeah, I, I was just, as Justin said, it is, these things are as fruity as all get out uh, in a really nice way too. And this Ben Nevis, I, don't, I, I, I think you're right, Jose. I think it's one of the fruitiest ones I've tried all night. I don't know whether it's just the order in which we're having them or what. Yeah, so... Not like the other Ben Nevises we've had you over the year. Yeah, one of the fruitiest I, 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 I tasted, I would say. Yeah. But the same with... Um, not having the bottles in front of me is uh, same like the Irish twenty nine. That's super fruity too. Mm. Yeah. Um, and the little meal, the little meal doesn't back up. It's um, huge, but it doesn't change. It's still like keeping the same profile of a bit of herbs, kind of mixed herbs. You know when you buy the Italian mixed herbs. Yeah, sort of on the shaker. This is the little meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that little meal just as fruity as that Ben Nevis, if not more, I reckon. It's slowly becoming. Mm, gaining traction. Star anise on the nose, says Dave Phillips. Yeah, that's uh, that's not Dave. That is um, Joe, Dave's wife. If any bars don't want the twenty nine Irish, I put my hand up for one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Paul. He sacrifices for the. <laughs> okay, I, I, <laughs> take, take I, I'll, the I'll ask. <laughs> um, we got three bottles of that, so this we open off. Three, three bottles of that one. Yeah. We open one. Maybe I keep another one. I know that one goes to another bar. Um, big oregano on the little meal now. Yeah. It smells like that sort of uh, um, mixed herbs, oregano, or, you know, rosemary thyme. Um, yeah. And now I'm on one, two, three, four. Four was. Uh, what was Lechag? Lechag. Wow. You would never think this is Lechag. And I was just like, right, and it's nothing I could almost blend in with the little meal. In that sort of. Uh... Yes. And the smell the Lechag now, it smells like the little meal. Though very similar on the same like it, it lost a little bit the marineness the lechai. But it has that sort of cut grass smell. It's still more fruity to me, Jose, than the little mill. Yes, it is more fruity than the little mill. Yeah. But that little mill is just whack how much that thing is changing. Yeah. Yeah. But the chai is still like Lemony sorbet and fennel for me. Which one? Little de Chai. Yeah. I find it amazing how they all change. Mm. Let's, uh, Gilly is there. How, how are you, mate? I just got you texting. I haven't seen you in a long time. Thank you for joining. You're still muted. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good man. What do you reckon of these ones? You got a favorite? I'm not a big fan of Ben Nevis, to be honest. So probably not the best for me, but okay. Then should we kick you out right now? <laughs> <laughs> nah. What do you reckon okay. of the rest of the little meal and the the, the Irish? No, nah, I like the yeah the Irish twenty nine. That was. Like really nice, really fruity. The 16, yeah, the 16, that was all right, but the best one, now the Lechek Tom. The Tobemori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Tobemori yeah. for so me. A bit quickly then. Like that's the one I didn't expect much and like a good surprise. 
It's amazing. Um, so just to let everyone know, Whiskey Agency just released uh, a second. Uh, Whiskey Agency just released a second release of winter drums. There is um, another ten drums that they just released them last week. Um, they're not on the market yet. They just send us the, their they just send us their photos and their. Um, then I'm gonna show this. Uh, hang on, My, there we go. Uh, not that, not this, not this, not this. Here they are. This is the new range of whiskey agency. Might not see much, there, but that's the new range of whiskey agency, winter drums. And there's a uh, space side 1973 in there. So we will get these hopefully around April with the, uh, the rhythm shipping is going. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this is a bunch of different drums. Uh, the most rare being the 1973. Um, no spring banks, unfortunately. I was looking forward to have a couple of spring banks more. Um, but um, the good news is that we get to have two whiskey agency tastings. Two whiskey agency tastings. Two whiskey agency tastings a year. So that's, a, that's, a, that's good news for all, the, for all of us. Happy with that. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, this, this secret Highland might need a little bit as well. Something. This secret Highland, I've been waiting to taste this whiskey. Um, 1985. Dram number eight. Dram number eight, 256 bottles mature in a hogshead, 47% with an angry man. <laughs> It's the angry man. The angry man bottle, the famous angry the man. The famous angry man. Dave loves the bottle. The angry I'm man. Waiting for this one. Yeah, we've been waiting for this one since we got the bottles in, in December. Um, so no clue about this. I asked Karsten and he said he has no idea. And I do believe if he had idea, he wouldn't tell me anyway. So it doesn't make any difference. Mm. No, but he normally tells me when he can, but he, he oh. said he has no idea what it is. What do you have I, I read, Intel? I read somewhere, Jose, that it's it could it's either a Glen Morangy or a Del Winnie. Okay. Well, he to be honest, he said to me he has no idea, neither the origin can say where it comes from. So neither neither the origin can tell what could be. So um yeah, in this case, let's see. The, I heard also rumors that's not coming from him that it could be Tininic, but you know, on saying that, we never know, you know. All right. Oh, hello. Mm. That's that's like a similar to the Irish, the big Irish, really fruity again, huh? Mm deepest almost it's like the richest dram we've had so far as well as that fruitiness that that's there it's also I, I feel like it's a bit deeper like cocoa nibs and a bit of coffee as well mm. just smells like old whiskey mm. wow well. They know it's sensational. It's like um it's like a it's most like an old leather couch. Kind of, you know, like a nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an old leather couch or or a bit of like that sort of sh leather shoes. Draw. Yeah. This is like a balance between herbaceous and a little bit of fruit. I love that. This is going to be interesting with a little bit. Little wow. bit of pure hay. Hay and like sharp, like fennel and dill. And lechag is just totally. 
strange. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's just like, yeah. I never had a lechak like this, I think. It's good. There's one less of these for the bars now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one more for me. <laughs> uh, wow. Worth waiting for that one. It was worth waiting for this one. This is a huge drum, so we need to let this one, you know, oxygenate and 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 and, and, and open up. Um, let's start back from the beginning again, if we all still have some. Yeah. Irish sixteenth. Oh. I see the fruit, but it's not entertaining anymore. Yeah, all those. It's like you go from a, it's like, it's like after playing Call of Duty, you go back to play uh, Tetris. It's like all the all the florals have definitely blown off, but I still get a little bit of like butterscotch in us, like when I get really deep in there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Nice and savory. Really nice and savory. Yeah. It makes me feel like it's peat, but it's not peat. Yeah. Uh, let's um, get some of the people uh, that have not, um, we have not made participate there. Josh, we got there with some barrels on his background. How are you, Josh? Good to see you, mate. Howdy. Good. <laughs> All the boys there again. <laughs> How are you doing, boys? Yes, sir. How was the day? Very enjoying it very much. Uh, that Ben Nevis. Yeah. I want a bottle. I want a lot of food. I want more than one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish we all. I wish we had availability for this, but it's uh, fantastic. That, is that your drum of the night at the moment? No, just some random picture. <laughs> no. I would like, like to have that as my collection. But that's that is that your favorite bottle? Oh. The Ben Nevis, the Ben Nevis favorite turn of the night. Thank you, Josh. Okay. Ah, we lost. No, them. we lost them. Maybe. Too much, too much going on there. Too much Sounds going like on there. Yeah. Sounds like they're having a good time. Though. <laughs> like Just us. making fifteen mils go a long way. It's good, you know. Uh, sportsmanship. The my they just disappeared maybe just the, the bandwidth couldn't couldn't get there they might be coming back in a second um shan what do you reckon of this i haven't i haven't heard your voice for a while how are you Mer? yeah stunning um look i'm 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 loving the way a lot of these drams are just constantly changing there's the, there's a couple the, the younger irishes are you know that they are what they are and they're not changing i, I really love the 16 year old um irish though it's just really sweet and it's it's a nice dessert and, and nice and simple but um a lot of them are just constantly changing i'm having to go back and again and again and again just so i'm not missing out on on you know the the full experience island and i think um so far the little mill's been my favorite for the night well um, good it just keeps changing and it's a bit of a yeah it's it's it just changes especially like it's just responding to all the other drams a lot so you can really bring out a lot of the character with it by you know nosing the others and a lot of fun good good to hear man the uh i agree uh li li this little meal keeps changing and keeps changing and it's like it just it, it has a lot of umami umami i define it i know what umami tastes like but it's really hard to tell how it tastes. Like you can comprehend it. That's like the little meal taste. It tastes on a way that you can, it's very hard to describe how it tastes, mm. but it tastes really yummy. That's a little bit like umame. But umame is that sort of salty, sweet, enticing, you know, uh, thing. We love umame. Yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's like MSG. We MSG, love it. like ramen. Yeah. I got, I got it here just. My wife almost throw me my, throw my bag of AMSG the other day in my house. She's like, I can't believe you have this in my house. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't use it. Don't worry. Um, 
Sorry, Hada, rant. Uh, Le Chag, doesn't smell like Le Chag. This is really good. Le Chag that doesn't smell like Le Chag. This is fantastic. Enigmatic, what a good word. <laughs> Enigmatic. Yes, I agree, Joe. Enigmatic. It's very interesting. I, but I must say the the lechag. It's like I will never tell this is lechag blind. No, not, not impossible. Another one that has been very quiet over there is David Bottle. David, how are you, bro? Oh, oh. and fantastic. Thanks, Jose. How you been enjoying this? Absolutely gobsmacking, and I think it was me that had the little Miller's enigmatic, but because uh, it's just so hard to. Oh, that's you, yeah, enigmatic. You said yes, yeah. true. It's just so hard to um, to pigeonhole. Yeah, and as fantastic as the other drams are, it's the little mill that's attracted my interest the most. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um... It's a beautiful dram, and and even going back to the younger. Irish, it's still just a beautifully balanced. Yeah, I agree with that. It, it's it's so, like it's just yeah. not fair to compare, you know, sixteen year old Irish whiskey with like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's uh, it's interesting yeah. to see also on a on a lineup when you get presented on a variety of these whiskies, being able to differentiate with whiskies that are young and are what they are, and let's say. They, they're not they're really good and really complex but what is exceptional stuff you know um yeah they're not in the same they are not in the same these are the, i must say the last four are exceptional they're in a category that are exceptional truly exceptional particularly i must say the little meal mm. Mm. the highland the highland is just giving more and more now yeah, they, they, I can't stop as this switching is like they're all it's yeah, such a good side by side, but nothing, I guess, super duper peaty. So, yeah, to really like throw a lot of complexity and, and mix up the, the range too much. Everyone sort of got their own sort of chance to sing here. If we think really, Whiskey Agency has never done really super peaty things, yeah, in the last few years. I cannot remember because even they all, all the drums with beat, they are not that beaten. So when he uses this, it's for the sort of regional releases, you know, um, that we have purchased from Taiwan, from uh, Japan, you know, some of the old, old releases he does for, for, for Europe, yeah. but they are younger whiskeys, you know, some of the samples that we tasted. Remember the Caolilla and the and the Crofton here that we tasted that he sent. Yeah, which yeah. are cracking. Yeah, but guess, very good. When it gets to the stuff that he slaps his own label on, he doesn't muck around too much. Yeah, yeah. But that's like you can't put these drums, those drums against this. This is crazy. Yeah. Anyone else starting to find beating their nervous that wasn't there before? Interesting, Sean. Mm. Oh, but Nevis is always speeded, but in very, very, very little bits. So it's good that you, your pilot starts to pick it up. Yeah. I know what you mean though, Sean. There was one whiskey that I went back to the Ben Nevis from, and I got even more of that, that peat from it, but I'm not sure which one it was, but, um, but it's definitely got that backbone. Yeah, not so much on the nose, but just, just on the back of the back of the mouth yeah yeah and very subtle nigga to go around i think in 1989 or 1990 something very early 90s so this is before the takeover but they always use a little bit of peat and they also re-racked many of the peated casks yeah uh tristan says ben nevis has gone rhubarb after the little meal I almost drank it all, my Ben Nevis, already. Couldn't hold it. Well, that's one less for bars. Yeah. That's why. 
Uh, <laughs> Rob's missing out tonight, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. Little Miss, sensational. This Highland has just changed up a little bit for me as well. Hmm. I still get a little bit of like deep, like cocoa y, like almost white chocolatey coffee bean from this. This one's one that I could take home, put in the back pocket, wake up tomorrow morning and still smell like. At the Highland? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There were a few of these crazy casks of uh, Highlands. There was apparently another 1983 that I believe uh, Club Ching bought it in, um, in Hong Kong. And they, it's a whiskey agency cask. <clears throat> that was another exceptional cask. And I believe another one got bought by Jens from Zanzibar of these casks, uh, apparently, um, uh, whiskey agency had that were absolutely exceptional, mm. you know, like this 1985. That this is whiskey that I would like to drink any day. You yeah. see, yeah, just just round and gentle. I'm still loving the lechag. Yeah, yeah, that's that's still got to be my pick of the night. I think that's cracking. It's absolutely stunning. Mm. I can't imagine why this would turn in, in older, you know? Mm. This characteristic is just getting older. It would be fantastic. Let's go to the Iran, see what we have. Still there. It doesn't shy, shy, shy away. It's not as fruity, though, that the other ones. But, you know, again, we are putting against a 17 year old around against a 29, 35, 27 year old. Yeah. Yeah. Straight away, it was just that orange rindness, as you said, you know, and I don't think that's, that's scooting away too much. There's still, if you spent another, you know, 10 minutes with this without nosing any of these, it will probably go back to that orange rindness. You can, you can still see it there poking through. Yeah. Almost got vegetal now as well. Mm. Wow. Irish twenty two. Still ripe. Before we pour the cognac, Jose. I'd like to go to the Casadavino's Brains Trust quickly and just get everyone's dram of the night that's that's in there. Just quickly. Oh, uh, good idea. Um, What's dram of the night? Yeah. They, are, yeah, they are really changing as they've been sitting there. Okay. Um, we got everyone there uh, on our... Uh, you probably see my hand at the back. There, you see my hand at the back on the on the fishbowl. Yeah, where they. Um, <laughs> what's the drum? What what's your one's drum of the night? Let's start with uh, as they were right. Um, Mark Williams, what's your drum of the night? I'm gonna have to say the little mill. Okay. Mm. One boat for little mill. Yeah. What's what's the drum of Karen? Car what's Karen's drum of the night? Well, I have to say, I, I've been saying the 16-year-old Irish all night, but I've just finished the Little Mill, and I quite like that myself. Okay. Yeah. No, totally. uh, so, he, the six, Irish 16? Yes. Let's say that. Let's say that, because that was winning most of the night. Okay. Uh, Alex Uzala. Hello. Number, uh, number one, it is at Irish 16. Yeah. If I had a Bible. Two fans of the Irish 16. And, uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and um, Jankowski. John. Um, don't tell my wife, but I like the Irish 29 year old. Uh, hopefully they do it in a minute. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Irish, the Irish twenty nine is just 
absolutely amazing. Like it's so super tropical, fruity and creamy. Even now it's just holding its own. Um, I agree with you. Mm. The little mill for complexity is that's, that's been an amazing one, but I, I can't get past the Irish 29. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, we did that. Um, Owen there behind the mic. What do you reckon, man? Owen, oh, what's uh, your favorite? The little mills right up my street, but, uh, that 34 year old Highland is just awesome whiskey. It's just really good, really comfy. So I'm torn between those two, but, uh, I still think I'd go with little mill. Yeah. I don't think anyone will blame me for that. Alex, Alex Split, what's your. Um, that, I'm really not on the bread here. <laughs> <laughs> Put that down. I like the check. Yeah, shut the check. <laughs> uh, the bro. Yeah, it's got a good um, marine kind of taste yeah. to it. Um, and it's know. fruity as well. I'm pretty, it's probably right where um, my flavor profile is at the moment. Yeah, good. Beck, what do you reckon? I like the Lecce as well. But um, the Irish 16 for its smell was... Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And we're getting into two. David Phillips. I know what he's going to say. Scores going up. <laughs> actually, Jose, for once, I actually scored these properly. So the two... I can't believe my son has the same palette as I do. So I score the Little Mill and the Secret Highland the same. But the most surprising thing is, close second is the 29-year-old Irish. And I don't like Irish whiskey, so well done. Mm. You converted well, your, Irish whiskey. What's your first one? Oh. I'll equal uh, Little Mill and Secret Highland. Uh, the, yeah. Secret Highland. Little Mill, Secret Highland. Little yeah. Mill and Secret Highland, and then... Both on 80 points. Good. And... Equal. Yeah. yeah. Jason Ordering. Hey, how's it going? Good, mate. How are you? The last three that were mentioned are, I think, the most interesting. Um, I think the, the Secret Highland is the best. The Secret Highland is pretty crazy. It's with the Little Mill, they keep changing and they're like... Yeah. Little Mill is like very close. The Highland's got a salary note to it. Celery. Yeah, I'm getting more celery on the nose now on the Secret Highland. For sure. I understand that celery. It's like the vegetal. You see that? Yeah. I yep. see that. Paul, yeah. Paul Leyland's gone with the Irish. Gillian. Yeah. Gillian. Yeah. Yeah. Mike gone. Leyland at 29. Irish. Oh, shit. Justin. Shannon the likes the Lechag and the Venerys. This is a. Uh, it's pretty, uh, it, this, I think this is a pretty good demonstration of what a good or an excellent bottler is when there is not a right or wrong answer, right? There's not one standout. They like, they all stand out. There's people that like the Veneris, the Lechag, there's people like the Irish. So it's kind of uh, excellent on all, you know, uh, kind of flavor profiles. Mm. Yeah. You know, um, we are very lucky also to be tasting only 16 year olds and older tonight yeah. out of nine drams. Let's go, in my case, um, I'm gonna, oh no, we got an extra glass. Yeah. Let's go to the cognac. Ooh, 49 year old. And this is like, yeah, cognac. This is, this isn't a, oh, we'll have a cheeky cognac at the end. This is like, yeah. This is a 49 year old cognac, 234 bottles from 1970. You're not allowed to indicate vintage on cognacs. So, what they've done is they put it lot 19, number 70. So, 1970. Yeah. yeah. Good grand final that year. Yeah. Bottle in, 20, in 1970. <laughs> Who won? Carlton came back. Are you sure? 40 points down at half time. I'll never forget that one, Jose. <laughs> you <better go> back. <laughs> John, Jono's, Jono's inherited that one from his old man. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> uh, it down in the jeans, Jose. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Did you tell him 20 times about the same story? He made me watch it when I was two oh. until I could repeat the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Here's a link of new beauty. <laughs> uh, 
Oh wow, this is cracking. <laughs> That's awesome. Woof. What a nose. Mm. It's like um remember cognac? Remember to drink cognac because normally cognac is not that expressive like whiskey. You normally meant to warm up the 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 um, the glass, right? That's how people do this. And they sit down with the hand over the top. Yeah. But you're meant to warm it up because the, it's, it's um like many cognacs are made also with column stills. Um they no they're not so expressive as whiskey um if they are not warmed up. That's why you warm up cognac with your hands. So this was fantastic. Mm. Yeah. It's impressive. It's impressive once you warm it up how much it changes. What's the ABV? I mean, they took my it's bottle. They, they take in the bottle uh, as it goes. You, we, we should have a spare one on those ones. Eh? Mm. Is that one? Forty-nine point two. Yeah, it's normally not that high. Yeah, forty-nine point two. I can see from here. It's normally all diluted down to 40%. Yeah. Even the old ones are diluted down to 40%. Yeah. This smells like Botrytis grapes, you know, like a late harvest. Yeah. Hips fruity, but very oaky and celery also. Yeah, it's an absolute treat. It's hard to pick apart cognac like we do whiskey mm. when we taste so much whiskey, but this is just like you can feel it's like incredible. To me, it's like I must say that it blends in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you feel that it blends in? It doesn't feel like out of the out of the range. No, you you dead right. It's got that sort of like Moorish and richness is like pace, like quince paste for me. It's just Chris Cornell says clove and cola. Yes, I like that mm -hmm. clove and cola. Yeah. Chris, what's your what was your take on the Highland and the Little Mill? Middle, the Little Mill had an interesting, I think someone was saying before, maybe a bit more of a sort of a flatness to it. Like nothing in a sort of a negative connotation. But I guess again can be sort of um they've got a very like really sort of like a new oak like yes. freshly charred sort of barrel uh the highland i how it's probably a bit fatigued by now but i'd like to go back to it at a later stage and actually have it fresh off the um ranks to see but um really out of the, all of them ben nevis my pick of the evening did you did, are these your first whiskies of the day did you taste it earlier at work or not no, no sampling at work uh, no today. Sampling at work. Unfortunately, but that's that's company policy. Yeah. Okay. Technically, is no drinking on the job, but. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I can see that uh, how it works, but um, you're out of uh, you're out of form then. <laughs> tasting, <laughs> tasting too many. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've been trying to cut back since Christmas, just not drinking as much, but again, Matt. Yeah, I'm trying to do the same thing, John. You know that. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate. You keep scheduling the tastings. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, I'm trying I think, to. I think we all get a little bit like that after Christmas. It's just like, you know, New Year's resolution, let's ease back into the year and then. It's about like halfway through January. COVID snowball with Christmas this year. Is that they snowball together? It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, um, the snowball effect. The, no, the COVID effect, the snowball effect, and the Christmas effect. I can't feed any pants. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't. Yeah. 
the last of it. All my shorts. No, no, no. Only shorts are dry this year. No, no, no. Only one fit. The, the rest are ball shorts. Good year to be a tailor. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> if the ball shorts don't fit, you're in trouble. You know, no, that's one of those things. Um, all right. This will wrap up on on this. Uh, yeah. let's, let's go Kurt, to the from the beginning Kurt until Kurt. the end. Yeah. Yeah. So the Irish is is interesting that everyone in there rated it so highly, and I think we absolutely agree. The nose is stunning. The nose is stunning. Ah, sorry, forgot before they wrap up. Yeah. The code for tonight. We got a code. We do. Yeah, we do. Um, the code for tonight is Prost. Prost. That Prost. means cheers in German. Okay. And the whiskey agency is a German bottler. That's why. The code for tonight is Prost. And a race car driver. Prost. There we go. And you get uh, Alain Prost. Yeah, true. Alain Prost. Uh, so 10% off the next 10 tasting. 10% off the, the next tasting. Lafroig tasting. The Lafroig tasting, which is already on their website. Anything in the store. The Irish yeah. single malt might be the only one, the 16-year-old, whether there's any left or not. Yeah. And if you've already bought something and you didn't use the code, then Jose will give you a free 15 mil sample when you, when you come in next time. Yeah, of... Um, maybe one of the whiskey agency bottles yeah so yeah um let's do a wrap up so yeah irish very 16 very fruity yeah still like hmm. now it smells a lot like candied fruit you know like candy pineapple candy orange remember those candy orange that we got last year yeah yeah that we had in the fridge for like two months <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, they were lovely to lovely to I eat. Know, I know them well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A run again, candy orange, but not so like rindy, like more chocolatey now. Cocoa nibs. Literally, they cocoa nibs. Oh, that's um the the co the co the chocolate with crunchy bits around. You know that. The crunchy not the crunchy with the with the big uh, stuff no no the one that has like speckles is it just a uruguayan one or <laughs> <laughs> we don't get these things in your way <laughs> too exotic it's too expensive you know <laughs> two families can live on one tablet <laughs> mm. no that the around now you know got its own view of the place as as, as i think you said earlier yeah. jose like younger Senior, Younger, senior, yeah. yeah. Irish twenty two. Irish twenty one. Twenty one, sorry. Yeah. Still waxy, you know, like spicy sort of fruits. Um, heaps waxy and loses all the florals from the sixteen, and gets more tropical. Yeah. Like papaya more papaya is the one with the little black black seeds in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So sure. yeah. Do you know or you know? Uh, yes. <laughs> Passion fruit pie. <laughs> no, 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 no. The big one. The blue, same, same. The green one, big one like this. <laughs> like a cucumber. <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one, Jose. What's the ABV of this? Uh, yeah. the, uh, it feels kind of. I got I got on a flashback to um, <laughs> Bangkok. <laughs> no. Anyway, that's uh, that's interesting. <laughs> and my my drama tonight um, <laughs> is this Lechag. I think this is cracking. Um, number four. That's yeah, the Lechag. Toronto's drama tonight. Still, sort of a lot of that lemony sherbetiness on the nose for me. Fennel and herbs and spices. It's a bit seaweedy, like that sort of, you yeah. know, um, yeah, saline. Remarks. Saline. This is maybe one of the best lechags I ever tasted. I must say, mm. very interesting, very, very, mm. very good. Good call. Yeah, totally. Hmm. Yeah. I'm with you, Jose. I think that's the best lechega I've ever tasted as well. Yeah, I, I, um, it's, it's, um, it's so, it's so good. It doesn't taste like lechega. Yeah, absolutely stunning. 
Um, you can know you know it's not Tobemori because you can smell the peat, right? It's it's a, that sort of very interesting, um, but you can taste the peat, but it's 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 just very light. Number five. So the Carl Irish Leyland wants the link for the Lafroy tasting. Let me just um, get to the Jose will hunt it down. Yeah. So this is number five, the Irish twenty-nine year old. Yeah. This is. I mean, the the nose has been interesting the whole time. Um, grass and lots sort of hay at the front. Now it's a little bit more treacle and honey. But if you do have any of this left, I find that on the palate, this one. Yeah, that super maltiness, and Justin was talking about it earlier. It's it's obviously going to keep giving it, but this one on the palate is the Irish twenty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still really big and malty in the finish. This one sort of lingers around with a bit of spice for a while. This is a this is a really solid whiskey. This is stunning. Very underrated Irish whiskey. But it's not underrated. It's also very expensive. Like a bottle like this is around a thousand dollars today. Well, this one I think it's we 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 were we were pricing it around you know nine hundred bucks, um, which is the cost of uh, if you buy this of tilling around thirty or tilling it will be around fifteen hundred, right? Um, it's very difficult to sell it to me. <laughs> yeah, um, it's 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 um it's a kind of Irish whiskey that not a lot of people it's been exposed to. You know, when people normally associate Irish whiskey and we get it here in the shop, they associate it with like cheap whiskey, right? They want to spend seventy to one hundred and twenty. Yeah, you know, like a green spot, green spot. Yeah, yeah, red breast twelve. You know, it's hard when people come in and say, "Do you have any Irish whiskey?" Oh yeah, I got this one. It's seven hundred bucks. Oh. <laughs> But it's really good. I oh, know. Yeah, must be for that price. But it's the difference between the the, the exceptional old stuff, you know, than the 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 almost young and normal common stuff. Yeah. yeah. Number six, the little mill. Probably one of the most long-awaited drams of the tasting. Still continues nice, to yeah. swing. It's herbaceous. It's it smells like hay or like dry hay. Definitely on the palate, a lot of straw and hay as well. Yeah. Yeah. And. Hmm. Yeah. I got, I get what um, Chris was saying earlier about the new wood. It does smell a lot or taste like new wood. But as new wood, like white, like no white oak because that's like Mizunara, but it's not, not like white, like white wood, right? Mm -hmm. When you meal white wood, it's like pine or, or you know, something not very, with not a lot of, a, a wood with not, not a lot of smell, you know? Yeah, like, like fresh MDF. in a sense. Like MDF, yeah, like fresh MDF, and, yeah. and, it's, and it's not a bad thing either, you know. That's no. like that's the thing that you like. But I totally get that on the palate. I always get that note on on Little Mill, yeah. that sort of green um, green MDF, and it keeps giving saltiness and pickliness for me as well. Now it's pickliness, that's pickliness. You're just making up stuff, are you? Pickliness <laughs> and bananariness are my, two of my favorite tasting notes. Is that pig pickliness? <laughs> Banana in this. Hmm. Shakespeare of the tasting notes. Bull well. <laughs> <laughs> It's the best type of this. Ah, Ben Nevis. Sensational. It's very complex and, and, and crazy and 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 um like Josh and the boys were saying, it's like it, it, it's a stunning drum, and you don't normally get this nose of a Ben Nevis. It's not that sort of um, kind of char, smoky profile of the sherry Ben Nevis. This is a hogshead, but it's not neither that sort of banana uh, or red apple smell that Ben Nevis normally gets when it's really, really floral. 
Mm. He's more close to the Highland on that noise, I would say. Mm. Wow. And the Highland. WBA. What's WBA, Paul? Where's my whiskey by yeah. association? Whiskey. So maybe Irish. What is the new 1993-26 like? Which one is that one? Ben Nevis. Ben Nevis. Or the Space Side. I don't know which whiskey is that one. The Space Side. Ah, the the one we have outside the the twenty the sherry. Oh, it's good. Ah, it's very good. Yeah, it's it's sherry. Yeah, yeah. Send that's it. That's the Space Side. Send your sample next. Yeah, we send your sample on the next. Or, or we with a tasting if you want. Um, Highland. I love yeah. this Highland. It's bloody awesome. What a nice. So good. And a cognac. A little young for me. Yep. <laughs> 49. Yeah. I know you like them, I read all that. I'm a chillist. I know you're on there. Someone's looking for a sugar mama. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, now, nah, this is cracking. Mm -hmm. The cognac is uh, it's very orangey right now. Mm -hmm. And it's a mix between literally now it's really candy orange or mandarin, you know. Uh, mm. And the mouthfeel, so sweet. Yeah. It is a lot sweeter than the rest of the mouths. And normally cognac is dry. Yeah. And you can see with that ABV, we have not had anything added to it. Are you going to do a Three Rivers Whiskey Agency tasting? Um, Brian, we can, um, we don't have anything of, of the 1991. We saw the 1991. So I will have to find a couple of bottles somewhere. I don't, I, I don't believe I have much Three Rivers Whiskey Agency. Oh, I can do a second Whiskey Agency tasting because I got another, con another, another shipment arriving. We got, so I think we was going on Casabinos. We got three shipments in Australia and one about to, those shipments in Australia and one about to arrive are waiting to be unpacked. The warehouses are, you know, out of, out of hands to do anything. We got another whiskey of agency arrival, uh, yeah. which has some of the no tie required. So we might be able to do another whiskey agency tasting maybe around the late February or March. Um, maybe we put some of the three river stuff. We also got the nectar uh, mm, tasting, waiting for customs clearance, and the Jack Weavers uh, waiting, waiting for customs clearance. So there's so, there's some big stuff on the water. Plus, hopefully that artist as well is coming in. We're looking forward to that. I'm waiting for that price list to arrive soon. Um, so we should have a this year. It's going to be B. John, lots of crazy, lots of crazy, crazy good stuff. tastings. It, it, yeah. it's not really stopping. Yeah. The, and this tasting was awesome tonight. Like. The whiskey agency stuff never disappoints, but I mean, this was this was. We all know, good. you know, yeah. we tasted enough whiskey. We probably are the ones that taste the most anywhere of whiskey agency stuff, and you know, I'm a, I've been a big fan. Um, this year, we got some pretty good tastings coming with some of um, the bottles of my collection. That this Lafrey tasting is all from my collection, except for the ten year old. So um, yeah, Chris Cornell on the 1991-28 space side. Any ideas about the distillery? No, I don't. And again, Carsten said he doesn't know about that. Uh, it's a very, very, very fruity drum, the 28-year-old. Um, we have set the bar pretty, yeah, we started up with a pretty high bar, you know, this year, but you know. That's the idea. That's the idea. We, we, we do not disappoint. 
there will be more things coming out. There's lots of exciting things, but we can't tell you everything just on the first date, you know? <laughs> okay. It'll be too easy. We, I'm not that easy. Yeah. Lafroy, birthday tasting for you. Is that your birthday, Tristan? Yeah, it's my birthday on the 28th. Amazing. I had other plans, but now if it's Lafroy, nah. You gotta do it. <laughs> this, you know, the last minute we were gonna do the old Lafroy 18, and Jono convinced me, twisted my arm, and said, no, get this 20 year old single cask instead of the Lafroy 18. And I did. And that's why we decided to this one. We're not gonna we we're gonna we're gonna do a regular 18, but then we decided to go with this one, 20 year old single. Oh, risky play. You're not going wrong with that. Yeah, you can can go wrong with the whiskey. I think, I think the people deserve that one. Nice, eh? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Limburg, is it or this is Limburg bottle? Yeah, yeah. this is. I, I'll settle for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, we Jonah had the same thought about that. Uh, the, 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 you can always Limburg. smuggle in an extra sample of the other one. This is birthday. Uh, okay, we can we can send you a birthday drum, and you need to do a review for us. What about that? Glendrona 18, yes. What are you doing, John? You're gonna you, you're gonna create a he's, he's, oh, he's gonna stampede with oh, no. We have been having around one one to two inquiries a day about uh, our Glendrona 18 situation for the last month. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably all gone now. Yeah, it's probably all be sold soon. Is the 2018 uh, batch, just in case anyone asks? Sean, you're the 31st. Oh, wow. We got two birthdays. Maybe we... Yeah, mate. We can sing them happy birthday. You know, I'll put in a, whoop, a little thing in there. It's the Freud birthday tasting. One out of 12. One out of 12, mate. You're, Mike, you're on the 12. Oh. Don't give it any more presents. All of a sudden, it's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's birthday is on January 7th. <laughs> My birthday is in July. Can I claim it now? I'm Brian, and so is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All out of the way. Ah, Chag, man. I'm loving that whiskey. Mm. Even the cognac, that's stunning. Mm. Well, I hope everyone had a good night. Um, Thanks everyone for joining. Not bad. Nine drums in two hours. Happy birthday, Brian. Brian, is it, is it your birthday now or yesterday? It was his birthday a few days ago. Uh, Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Happy Since birthday, Since everybody Brian. was saying that, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. How old? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, how old? Too yeah. old. 43. 43? <laughs> Oh, you're 77. It's true. No, 70, yeah, you're 77. It's true. 78. 70, ah, 78. Yes, you got the 78. Yeah. Ah, okay. Maybe, um, well, next time I get, we get something around 78 for, I don't know if we have anything. Oh, we got some 78s, maybe. Uh, happy yeah, birthday, Brian. Yeah. Delayed a little bit. But I'll see you tomorrow. You're coming in. to the 70s. I'll have from the 70s. Yeah, I'll be in about one o'clock to pick everything up. Good. Perfect. It's all ready for you, man. We'll be here. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, for tonight. Um, it's been a great start. It's been a great, year. yeah. It's been a great start of the year. Awesome. This year we got big plans, big, big, big plans. Big plans. So yeah. Sorry, guys. I've had no mute at the start. Yeah, it's all good, man. We are sorry. The same as the plans. Like, Big plans. Big plans for 2021. Big plans for 2021. So, yeah. Hope to see you, everyone, on the next tasting of where we want to. Some, some pretty good drums. Trust me, I think this drum is going to be really exceptional. But we don't know. Still has one warrant. So. Haven't even been opened yet, either. So. No, we haven't opened it. I don't know. These ones haven't been opened yet. We they haven't. Could be anything. Could be anything. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Cheers, Have a good guys. night. i see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.